Few things are as peaceful as the sound of bells tolling in the early morning. Here at Central Christian Church in downtown San Antonio, a symphony greets people on their way to work. But unlike the steady nine to five crowd, these bells aren't on a schedule or a timer. That's because there's nothing automated about this one man show. It's not like being on a stage because no one can see you. And um, so you are alone, but uh, you're also aware that the town can hear you and you're not really sure how many people are listening. So you have this feeling, maybe 10,000 people are out there and it might be only one or two. Well, whether it ends up being a private recital or a crowded show, George Gregory plays a carillon concert to the city of San Antonio every week. This centuries old instrument is most often found in European villages, but the one here at Central Christian has its own unique history. George has been playing it for more than six decades. How old were you when you first heard this instrument? Probably in the early 20s because I was still in the army. What did you think when you heard it? Amazing that I want to do that. The, 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 the sound is so unique that uh, it's compelling from the very beginning. If the main thing is why I have stayed at the church for 61 years. Surrounded by empty pews and stained glass, George begins his journey from the church up to the very top of the bell tower. At 86 years old, he makes the narrow winding trek, more than 50 steps up the steep spiral staircase, look easy. So too does he make controlling thousands of pounds of weights and cables seem effortless. After a lifetime of hymns and classical tunes, it's safe to say George is a master of the craft, but even he will still tell you, practice makes perfect. After 60 some odd years, you're still practicing. Oh yes, to learn your music, you have to do it on the practice instrument. He just wants to take the chance upstairs. How often do you practice? Oh, it's three or four times a week, and probably an hour or two at a time, because it's very physical, so I can't do more than two hours at a time. So it's, a, it's, it's an exhausting thing to play these, because it's really your hands that are doing this. The low clapper weighs 150 pounds that you're moving. The, the low bell upstairs is two tons, uh, 4,000 pounds and the clapper 158 pounds, and that's what you're moving. These days, carillonneurs are a rare breed of musician, and the folks at Central Christian Church know they are blessed to have George Gregory up in that tower. One day, before the stairs get too steep and the clapper's too heavy, he might consider training a second chair but until that moment comes, he'll be the one playing those angelic sounds and climbing those steps that bring him a little closer to thee. What is it really that you just love about doing this? It's knowing that people are enjoying it downstairs and I'm enjoying it upstairs, so it's a win-win situation that everyone is having a, a, a good time Nothing else sounds like a set of bells. That uh, Caroline is so unique sounding and you're up in the tower all by yourself um, and playing really to yourself and God. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.